Hello everyone, Jillian from A Jillian Advanced Design here and today I am here with your homework for the November one of a kind virtual event. So we don't have a time yet for when we'll be on but I'll update you when I do have that. Um, this month was a little different because I decided to do a build your own bundle considering that every project has to do with Hootie the Owl. And I know that we've done Hootie the Owl in the past so I wanted to make sure that everyone could be included. So there is a section on the website that has everything used for these projects where you can go in and pick and choose what you'd like to buy. Um, and then when you go through checkout, make sure to use the code NOV22OOAK and that will give you 25% off. So that is still active. That's still there. Make sure you check it out. If there's anything you see that you want last minute or you know if you just want to peruse um, and even if you don't purchase this bundle feel free to come and craft with us it's going to be really fun so we are making three projects this time each one's a little bit different and this one that i'm going to show you first is a mini slimline so here's what it looks like we have hootie going through the woods to go to a Christmas party or just like a family gathering or whatever. Um, so, so cute. So you're going to want the biggest size of the mini slim backdrop. And I did it in a light blue. And then you're also going to want a, I don't have it cut, but you're going to want a base layer, which is 3.75 by 6.25 inches so make sure that you cut that as well so you have that for your background and then I also cut a mini slim in white and use the elegant edges to make a little snow bank so it'll pop on there right like that and then you're going to need one of each of the mini slimline tall trees so these ones are in a set um, so just these two, not the big slimline tall tree, which is also available. So then you're going to have Hootie. So you have his body, you have his head, his little arms, eyes. And then for the eyelids, I decided to go for a little um, turquoise eyeshadow look. I love a blue eyeshadow, but I used some... Elizabeth Crafts adhesive sheet roll, whatever it's called. And I used some um, silk microfine glitter in the shade teal. So you can use like a glitter paper. You can do a glaze. You could do what I did with the, just the loose glitter. Up to you on that. But I think it adds a really nice touch. It's really fun. It's really cute. And... And I just think it adds a lot. And then I also use those adhesive sheets for her beak and her feet. And then you also have her hat. And the little pieces that go along there. And I have this sentiment strip banner. Um, and if you have the Stitch Sentiment Trio die set, this is the one with the rounded edges. And then I also have a little present that she's carrying. And for this one, you're going to need some kind of ink, some kind of shiny ink. I'm using the Delicata White Shimmer. And I also used, and we'll be doing some stenciling technique on here, with the signature polka dot stencil. So those are really good things to have on hand. And we will be using those once again. And also make sure you have a blending brush. This is the brand new Baby Blenders. So, so fun, so, so cute. And the smaller one will help you um, when we kind of blend our ink into the trees. So that is this project. The next one that we have is the gift card holder. So this one is really fun. Look at this. Like how adorable is that? So this is also a really fun technique and you can actually use the slimline die sets to make these. So 
you need the biggest of the slimline essentials. You also need a sentiment strip. This is from the So Many Sentiment Strips. So I just found the size that fit perfectly across and I just cut it out of white. And then once again, we're making hoodie. So same difference. And this time it's a Santa hoodie. So I made his body red. Um, and then we have his face, his head, arms, eyes, his eyeballs, eyelids. And then he also is going to have a belt and a... There you go, his hat. So he has this red piece and then the little fur around it and the little ball. And there are videos on putting Hootie together. So make sure you check those out as well, but we'll be putting him together too. So, you know, join us then. And if you have any questions, never hesitate to ask because um, we will absolutely answer. And then I also did another present this time, and I forgot to mention on the last one, a lot of the pattern papers that I'm using came from this pad from Photoplay. So it's called Tula and Norbert's Christmas Party. So I got this last year at Mega Meet, so I'm not sure if it's discontinued or not, but they always have great prints, great patterns. I'm sure you guys have your pattern paper that you like to use. So, you know, just wanted to throw that out there. I love that paper. So many cute designs. Love it. So then you're also going to need the smaller of the mini slim tall trees. And this is a scrap of paper that is from uh, the result of playing with the gel press. So it's really cute, really fun. Got some pins of gold in there just for a little bit of texture. You guys don't have to do that at all if you don't want to. Um, and then his scarf. And that is it for that one. And then the stamps are from Happy Holidays. So that is project number two. And finally, this project is actually a ornament with a card base. That is optional, however, it's really, really fun because I used the Brutus Monroe Glitter Glaze in Unicorn Horn, and I went over it. It gives you a really subtle touch. I used the signature polka dot stencil. Look at her. She's adorable. Um, and just kind of went over there to give it a little bit of, what's the word? Flavor, I guess. So... There's that. Again, you don't have to because it's an ornament, but it's a little fun, fun touch. So once again, you're making Santa Hootie. So the same pieces as before, his red body, his eyes, eyelids, his eyeballs, um, his little hat here, his belt, his arms, his head. So just cut multiple when you do the Santa hoodie because you're gonna need two of them. And then you're also going to need some kind of a circle. This is the stitch dot in and out circle. And you're gonna wanna take this and cut this as well so that it melds in here, if that makes sense. So just place it and then tape it so that when you cut it, it'll take the shape of the circle. And then you also want a little bow. I believe this one is from the Classic Candle. You want an ornament topper and then two tiny tags. And then you also want a pear pin or something similar and some string here. And for the background on the ornament, I used the scattered stars stencil. 
and the Delicata ink. So that is everything that I use. Please keep some glue handy. Again, the um, Just Glue It is... Just glue it is in the craft along section as well. I am so looking forward to seeing you guys. It's going to be a great time. We're going to have a lot of fun sharing the holiday spirit. So make sure you join me and I will see you guys later. Bye.